grounding and a start point there. My, the next area is about observations. So how do we actually take in the, the information? So we've got our speaker doing stuff. What are, we, what are we doing? In my view, it's really focused on our senses. It's about seeing, it's about feeling, and it's about hearing. So being totally alert and looking out for you know, every movement, obviously the gestures and so on, you're going to see more uh, as a visual. Language and voice is a more auditory thing, so you're going to be hearing that. And I think a very important thing, and it strikes me even more, is, is the feeling side. Because in my experience, it's the passion, and it was mentioned you know, as a key thing in a speech, it's the emotion from the speaker that is what transmits. And if the speaker is good, you know, whatever their emotion, their feeling, they're really into their speech, you will be picking up some of that. So being aware of the kind of emotions being evoked in you, I think is a really important part of, of the evaluation. And noticing what's the impact of what they're doing on you. Good and bad. You know, there's sometimes I've been in, in listening to speeches and I found my mind wandering. And perhaps initially, there's a sort of moment of panic. You think, oh, you know, what have I missed? But to, to me now, I'm also a bit more relaxed about it in terms of, well, that's interesting feedback. You know, is that the fact that my mind's wandered, is it because of me? Or is it something that the speaker and the speech actually hasn't been able to hold my attention? Or has perhaps made me think of something which has then taken me off? And I'm, I'm lost, and, and that can be a good thing in a speech. You want to generate some thoughts in people, but as a speaker, maybe you need to recognise that that can happen, and you need to be able to bring people back. So, whatever thoughts come to mind, that's all part of the evaluation process, and I think it's that's the kind of personal thing, really. That's your reaction. That's really, I think, most valuable. To, to the speaker to be able to capture that and feed that back. What I'll also say though, is then about how do you record that? And I think there are, there are different ways of doing it. I've gone through a couple of phases and I'll, I'll sort of switch between them at the time. Maybe um, uh, a linear, I call this sort of linear note taking really, of having uh, the accommodations, perhaps have a, a chart written up and kind of uh, evidence or tips. So just have a whole list of, of lines across the, the page where you can put down what, what am I noticing that's, you know, is potential commendation here? What's the speaker doing that's, that's, that's working? And then have a whole load of, of ones for, for recommendations as well. Another way I use is a, as a mind map approach and then I have a kind of first lot of C's and I'll be capturing out, you know, what am I noticing the speaker doing, and I can sort of add those in. And then I have to have ones for recommendations, and then kind of for further seeds. And I might have someone here, I'm thinking about what's, what's the main impact of, of the speech. And so on the top, you can kind of cap capture title and uh, objectives, and so if it's a manual speech, and objectives. So have a go and, and try. I think the uh, the important thing is to yeah to make accurate notes. And what you're looking for really are specific examples. So you know whatever. Say for example, someone's doing something really well. You know with the eye contact. Then you know were the particular points in the speech where that was very good, or just how were they doing it? Were they doing a sort of Ed the Z approach across, or you know, so on. You want to get in the detail. So pick out the specifics. Because that, I think, is again a really, really key thing about evaluating. The more specific you can make it, the person is much more likely to relate to it. And also for the audience as well. Uh, you know, you're drawing your attention to a particular thing that someone's done. And then being able to demonstrate it. So it's not only having the verbals, but as I was saying with the, the gestures and so on, or the hand clasping, you know, to actually demonstrate this is what I noticed you were doing and what would be uh, even better 
is if you could just have your hands relaxed. So it's about being able to demonstrate those specifics because that will help get your message across. I find when when the speaker's speaking, if, if I'm busy writing an observation down, I probably miss another three things that, that I write. It's very difficult to take it all in in yeah. such a short time. I think Again, with, with more experience now, what I recognise is that we all are pretty consistent that I think with being able to watch someone for a minute or two, you know, in a table topic, you're going to be able, with practice, you're going to be able to pick up their most important things they do well, so the commendations and recommendations. You may, you're right, you probably will or could miss some points when you're making the notes. But I think part of it, it's, it's being relaxed and rather than thinking, oh my goodness, I've missed something, concentrate, because if you're really attentive over a seven minute speech, the chances are, more often than not, that they will repeat some of the patterns. So I think it, it's the ones that are the repetitive patterns that are going to be the more important ones to focus on anyway. Does that, so, does that help? But I think it's also, uh, it's practice in developing the techniques of being able to keep writing and listening. There's a bit of multitasking and I think with practice one can get better at it. The evaluations I really admire are when people give the evaluation without using notes. Okay. Is it something to do with how they take the notes to start with? I, I found that was quite useful because it, it sort of helps to compress down what, what points I've got. I think the number one thing is actually believing that it is possible. Yeah. <laughs> Someone can do it, and I can do it well, and I can do it too. Yeah. Uh, so I think you know, belief is a, is a good point to start with. And, but, but it's also about focusing and, and limiting the amount of, of information, which I think depending on where you are on, on the journey of, of developing evaluation skills. At the start point, I think it can be a bit overwhelming in terms of there's so much and, and not quite knowing how to filter down. I think with experience, then as one gets better to filtering, you can be more uh, spot on in terms of what the points are that you write down. And that makes the whole process of, of, of being able to feed it back with no notes much easier.